Hello everyone, my name is Spicy GB and welcome to the first episode of a new Terraria Let's Play. This one is going to be the expert mode Let's Play. I have been waiting to start this for such a long time now and it's 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 that time, it really is, it's that time. We're gonna try and do this thing, we're gonna create ourselves a new character, let's give ourselves something awesome. We're gonna make it red, which is the colour of, of gore, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, okay, so, uh, a little bit of that. A little bit of that. Uh, I'll tell you what, let's have a cloak again. I love the cloak. The cloak looks amazing, by the way. Uh, maybe a white cloak? Make us look like a doctor? <laughs> Why not? And some white shoes. There we go. I look like a badass. All right, we're going to keep on softcore, of course, and we're just going to call this guy Expert. There we go. Here we go. And let's mark it as a favourite so we don't obviously lose it. And, uh, yeah, we're going to do this thing. Create ourselves a new... We're going to go for a medium world this time. We're going to go expert, and this one is going to be called expert world. Ah, oh, yeah. So, I want to thank you guys. I know this is sort of unrelated to the series, but I want to say a big thank you to you guys once again for your patience while I was on my uh, break with Terraria. And also, I want to thank you guys for the amount of support you showed in the uh, first proper Let's Play episode. We got over 2,000 likes, and that is... The most ridiculous amount I've ever seen in a short amount of time, and it's it's evident to me that uh, you guys really want to see Terraria content, so... <laughs> I really do appreciate you continuing to support my friends, I really do. So, here we go. Oh, it's, uh, it's, it's purple, which means we've got ourselves a corruption mod this time. Ooh, is this going to be pretty cool? Alright, let's hop into the world. Oh, what kind of spawn is this? We're in a, we're in a freaking pond? What? Alright, expert mode. Kind of nervous. Kind of nervous. I'm not going to lie to you guys. We're kind of nervous. So what we need to do is we need to try and get set up as soon as we possibly can. And that involves things like getting torches, making our house, and uh, trying to shield ourselves off for the night. I mean, look at this guy. He's, he's got 28 health as opposed to the normal 15 he has. So, yeah. Expert mode. Well, I'm pretty sure the amount of health the mobs have scales up as you go along. Scales up? Yeah, that's what I was looking for. Oh, my lord. Alright, so we've got to focus on getting wood. If we manage to find any chests and therefore some uh, good, good accessories or goodie bags or whatever, then uh, that'll be really, really cool as well, of course. Uh, what else have we got here? Uh, it's a bad short sword. Uh, zealous copper axe again. Pretty sure we had that in one of our previous uh, videos. Not bad. Not bad. It's just more crit chance at the end of the day. Right, okay, come on. I mean, look at this. There's all these. There's already these big guys coming along. He's got 80 health. I can't possibly take him down. What the heck? <laughs> oh man. Oh no, guys. Guys, what's your name? Brett. Brett, defend yourself, this sir. Defend yourself. Oh my lord, this is ridiculous already. We've got guys who've got 80 health. Oh man. Oh boy. Alright, so we're over here now, we're going to go ahead and grab ourselves a little bit more wood. And it looks like the guide has done a pretty good job of weakening this guy, actually. He's only got 26 health left at this point, which is awesome. So one of the things I learned about is the fact that if you break a vase, there is a very small chance a thing called a coin portal will spawn, and it will just go ahead and give you a whole bunch of money. It's a very, very rare thing that happens, but uh, I started a personal world on my Terraria. And I actually managed to get one. I got five gold out of it, which is ridiculous. Hmm. Very ridiculous. Oh, man. Right, he's dead. Uh, wow. Three loads of health out of that? Wow, that's a lot of health. Damn. I'm alright with that. Okay, so let's continue getting some wood, shall we? Let's do this thing. I am really enjoying the 1.3 update so far, my friends. I can't tell you. The amount of fun I've been having. Uh, not only that, uh, aside from the series I've been doing, I've started a personal world just so I can get to, get to grips with the update. I've also been playing with uh, my buddy at Zoomavoid on his live streams. And uh, it's it's been a lot of fun. It really has been a lot of fun. And I really do not plan on quitting anytime soon. So please never ever think that I'm going to quit because I wasn't. Oh man, and I'm not. So yeah, uh, all these guys, are they like hostile towards me? Oh, they're not. It's only certain slimes that are hostile, sort of, automatically. That's interesting. Hmm. Right, how's the wood situation looking? Uh, not too bad. We're approaching 100. We might be able to make ourselves some wood armor. Uh, in fact, let's do that right now. I think that'd be a good idea. The sooner we get prepped, the better. Right, okay, here we go. Uh, a little bit of this. A little bit of that. A little bit of that as well. 
The only thing I find is that I like being able to see my character's clothes. So I think he looks pretty badass like that. But as soon as you put the wood armor on, it looks like just like any other guy who I've got. I think it would be kind of nice to uh, to be able to sort of toggle whether you can see the armor or not. I don't know if that make a great deal of sense, but I think it would still be a cool feature. You know, kind of like you can do with the accessories. You know, you can toggle their visibility on your character. I think it would be nice if that was a feature with the... Uh, with the armor as well, because, like I said, I like being able to see my clothes, because then we sort of look a bit more unique, do you know what I mean? Hello. Anyway, let's continue. We've got some wood going here. It appears to be midday, according to the sun, which is cool. I'm all right with that. We have ourselves something over here. Hopefully, there's a chest in here. That'd be awesome. All right, okay. Some of that, which is awesome. Let's go ahead and start doing some of this, I guess. You know, the old exploration action. Oh! Coin portal! Oh my lord! <laughs> oh my god! And what? We just got a coin portal like straight away, dude! Oh man! That's ridiculous! I'm a big fan of that! Well, GG's to you, Terraria! Expert mode! There's only one reason why any game would ever be nice to me, and that's usually because it's gonna try and kill me horrifically later on. Oh man, I can't believe that. We've got ourselves a freaking coin portal. It's like among our first vases that we took down as well. Wow, that's uh, that's really quite something. All right, you're dead. Uh, it looks like the guys give you more money as well when you kill them, which is kind of cool. I like that. All right, okay. Got a bit of iron ore here, so let's dig that up. Right, we've got iron instead of uh, the uh, lead that we tend to get. All right, how much health? 80. All right. <laughs> I love the amount of help these guys have, it's ridiculous. Uh, uh, Alright, you're dead. Sweet! And we have ourselves our first chest at long last, which is awesome. What do we got? Uh, throwing knives, not bad. I will definitely put them on my person. I'm also going to put these on my person as well. Uh, there we go, just so we have some ranged weapons and such. Alright, so how are we looking in terms of everything else? We've got recall potions, we've got iron bars at this point, which is cool. We can make ourselves an anvil if we really wanted to. In fact, that might be a good idea. Make ourselves some upgraded weapons ASAP. Hadouken! I can't make that. Okay, I'm going to have to do something. There we go. <laughs> Yay! Yeah. I'm a genius! Let's get some things going. Some stuff and things. Ah, diggity! Oh, can't make that. What the? Why can I not jump? Oh, there we go. <laughs> I was like, wait, what the heck is happening right here? There were some weird shenanigans. Right, okay, let's continue there. Oh, look at all the slimes that were everywhere. There's loads of them. There's like four of them, all different colors as well. So one of the things I noticed on my personal world is the fact that the slimes have a rare chance of showing something inside of themselves. So the thing that's inside of the slime is something that will be dropped, whether that be a coin or maybe some more gel or maybe some sort of uh, ore. I've had that before. I had some ores drop from a slime. That was pretty funny. <laughs> oh man, but yeah, you get some pretty cool things from these guys and uh, I like it. I like the fact that that can happen. You know, there's a, there's a bit more variety, a bit more randomness to the game, which i got to say I'm a big fan of. Uh, oh my lord, those guys do a lot of damage. Did you see that? He did like 20 damage. Upwards of 20 damage as well. Right, okay. Oh, desert. Okay, that's pretty interesting. So, can you still find desert temples in the desert? Because I know you can find these big pits that lead to an underground desert now. But, I'm not sure about finding desert temples. Oh, God. He's got 80 health. I might actually die from this. I may have to skedaddle. I can't do that. That's probably too dangerous right there. And it's raining already? Are you for real, man? Okay, that's, that's cool, I guess. Not. That's not really cool at all, actually. Um, I right, got ourselves another base down there. Let's go ahead and break it. There we go. Uh, yeah, we're all good up in here. All right, we're gonna try and get out of this place. Uh, there we go. And we're gonna try jump out. There we go. Good old parkour, like a true professional. Let's get some rope action going. There we go. Just so we can get up. Let's get rid of that one. Every bit of rope is good. Got 143 of it already. And we've got ourselves some sunflowers. I'm going to go and pick these up, actually. Or some up, anyway. I'm going to pick up four. This is like a decent amount. I wonder what the radius of them things are. I wonder if it's like the same as campfires. You know what I mean? Right. Is it a mirror? Does their health regen quite a lot slower than it normally does? Hmm. Must be part of the expert mode. Right. Uh, ooh, 40 health. you got double health than before, friendo. I don't know if I like that or not. Probably not. <laughs> right. Uh, you must die. I'm sorry. Oh, there's a big fat slime over there. Is that his arm holding that thing or is there something inside it? 
Oh, he's got 70 health, though. Mother of God. Alright. Let's go over this side. Let's see if we can find anything else. Uh, not really. Uh, although this seems like a pretty decent place to set up shop, isn't it? Right. Okay, let's kill this guy first. I imagine he'll give me quite a lot of gel, considering the size of him. So, uh, yeah. Oh, don't get killed by slime. If I get killed by slime, that'd be so embarrassing. Alright. Ah, ah. No! Go away! I don't like you! Stupid little fish! No one likes you, fishy! You shouldn't be flying, that's against the laws of everything. You can't do that, bro. Alright, here we go. Set up a little base right here, because setting up bases in expert mode is something I imagine we're just having to do. You know what I mean? You can't not do it, because otherwise you're going to die. <laughs> right, okay, let's go and put that right there. What is that? You can make trap doors now? Wow, that's kind of cool. I like that. Uh, right, what else we got? Campfire. Yep, I'll chuck one of them down just for some good old-fashioned health regen. Uh, I'll tell you what, let's smooth things out as well. So, we've got this here. Alright, that's kind of cool. Let's make that all flat. Okay, now I can go and put the campfire right here. And then this right next to it. And you know what we're going to do? We're also going to go ahead and do a little bit of this action. Once, the, uh, once that grows, I'm going to put a sunflower right there. Hmm, can you actually put some flowers against the background or do they have to be sort of not on the background? I don't know, these are things I have to find out. Right, okay, uh, got an anvil, which is cool, gonna put that down. Uh, got a nice amount of iron. Right, I'll tell you what, we need to get up and get some, uh, get some more iron. And maybe some stone for a furnace, you know, maybe we can get ourselves an iron sword to start this series out, that'll be amazing. Okay, so let's go over here. I believe it's 20 stone, so let's grab ourselves 20 bits of stone, go back down. Um, hmm. Maybe we should grab some more, just so we can make some arrows as well. Do you know what I mean? It would be nice to be prepared, in terms of being ranged, and of course, uh, melee. Alright, here we go. I'll grab this next little row, and that'll be it, because obviously I don't want anybody to drop into my base. That will be very annoying! It cannot happen! No! Okay, uh, what's this? Ooh, day bloom, awesome sauce. Okay, that's kind of cool. What is that? That's dirt. Sorry, for some reason I thought there was like an underground house right there, but it isn't. It is not an underground house. Alright, let's keep going. Do, 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 do. Good day to you, sir. How much health do you have? 50? Wow. They normally have like 24, right? Something like that. I don't know, man. <laughs> oh, all the numbers. There we go. Oh, they dropped silver as well now. Awesome! Right, I'm, I imagine we'll be able to use a recall potion and get back to our base fairly easily. I say fairly easily, very loosely, because, I don't know, man. Like I said, it's expert mode. Things can happen. Stuff and things can happen. Very bad things can happen. <laughs> okay. Right, I'm just having a bit of an explore, just to see if I can find some more surface chests. Which would be very, very cool indeed if we could find some. I like how the sunflowers grow now. I mean, glow now. Well, of course, well, they don't grow, do they? Doesn't make sense. How much health do you have? 100? Oh, man. These guys have a hundred health now. That's not good, dude. We gotta be careful. Uh, oh, shine potion. You know what? I'm gonna use that, actually. I thank you all. I'm gonna continue putting down some of the good old torches, though. But I'm just doing this so you guys can see what's going on. Oh, what? A mage weapon? Holy hell. What? That's incredible. I like that. Alright, we gotta try and fight off these guys. We're fighting off some of the hundred health. It's like a mini boss already. Ah! My god! 37 damage! It's like, they got amplified damage. Well, I guess that makes sense. Ouchie! Many ouchies. The eyeballs do more damage by the looks of it. Oh man, okay, we really need to be careful at this point. Oh, I am being very daring by doing this. I should really avoid all of these mobs. Is this fully auto? Oh, it's not. I wonder how much mana that uses, because we still only have the default amount of mana. How much mana? Uses two mana. Okay, so you can use it ten times per mana star. Alright, cool. Alright, continuing exploration. Got a bit of iron down here. The more iron, the better, because then we'll have more chance of making a good old-fashioned thingamadoohickey. You know the thingamadoohickey. It's the universal explanation of everything. Right, can I break that? Ah, it's just some money. I like me some money. I thank you. There's a little bit more up there, but it doesn't matter a great deal. There. You can't get out. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> the zombie's dumb. You can't get out. What a dumbo. Uh, 90 health. Oh, man. 
Okay. I don't know if I want to go down there, man, because that looks kind of dangerous. All right, here we go. So I just go down there anyway. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, man, am I glad that, that I came down here. Ha! <laughs> oh, yee. That's amazing. We found ourselves a freaking heart already. Oh, 25 damage, dude. These guys are ridiculous, man. I imagine I will get killed by a slime at least once in this Let's Play. And I will be very embarrassed as a result, because getting killed by a slime is just like... N no, that's not good. There's a boulder trap up there, and I just disarmed it, because I'm... I'm cool like that, I guess. <laughs> right, okay, uh, anything else going on around here? Got, a, got some of this stuff, which is good. Uh, how much of it do I have already? 32, we need 35. Another recall potion, awesome. Okay. I haven't found anything too interesting so far. Right, let's grab these back out and let's uh, let's get the heck out of here. There we go. Okay, let's put that there. And let's continue downwards. I don't know why I'm going caving already. This is probably not the best idea in the world, let's be honest. Alright, uh, there's something up there. I don't know if I like that. What is that? Oh, it's a silver coin, my bad. I was like, wait, what? Must! Ah! Please don't knock me into that trap. Break it! Okay. Now we just need to kill these guys. Oh, Wormy! No! No! No, Wormy! Wormy, please die! No! No, no, no! No, 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 no! We may have 120 max health, but that's still not a great deal, is it? Oh, boy. Okay. I am being really daring right now, and I shouldn't be. I should probably head back to the surface. Like, I really should head back up to the surface. God! <laughs> I really want to explore, though, man. But this is expert mode. I can't explore. Hmm. I know. You guys are pro What the heck? Oh, the jellyfish have a little animation now. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> I didn't even notice that before. Huh. Okay, that's kind of cool. Oh, cobweb down there. If I get some cobweb, I might be able to make a bed. That'd be awesome. There we go. Easy to access cobweb. Yay! Alright, we're doing good in terms of loot and stuff, which is good. Alright, let's roll a bit. Uh, got some tungsten. I don't think that's enough to make anything, though. Ooh, hang on. I might take that back, actually. We may have enough. Oh, quickly. I want to block this off. There we go. Ah, sweet! Right, we're going to grab this tungsten, and we are going to get the hell out of here, because, uh, like I said... Don't want to be stuck in these places for too long. And yeah, once we vehicle back to the surface, we're just going to go back to our house and then probably in the episode. And uh, yeah, expert mode. Already been pretty difficult. The mobs do a heck of a lot of damage. But do you know what? I am enjoying it. I'm enjoying it very much. It's been a long time coming and I have been wanting a, a properly good challenge in Terraria for a long time now. And uh, I think this, uh, this fits the bill really well. You know, all the mobs have more health. They've got more damage against uh, you as well, which is awesome. So yeah, let's just continue grabbing this stuff, shall we? There we go. Okay, we might be able to go straight up to a tungsten sword, actually. That might be a pretty cool thing to do, right? Right, and here we go. We're just going to hop over this way. Uh, let's go ahead and use some of these as well. There we go. Chuck down a torch and grab this iron. And again, get the hell out of here. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> Wow, I'm pretty, I'm pretty, uh, I'm happy with the progress we've made so far today. Like, very happy indeed. I mean, look at that, we've got 535 ropes. Oh, man, they must give us more stuff inside of the vases as well. That must be a thing that happens. All right, Brett, I need you to come over to the house, all right, man? You need to do that, otherwise you're going to get killed. I don't want you to get killed, Brett, because you're awesome. You have a bow on you, just like Brian does in my other world. Yeah, it's kind of awesome. What a start. So one other thing I noticed is it only takes three fallen stars to make a, a mana crystal now, which is ridiculous. It really is. Because it used to take five. So there's a second one. And there's a third one. We can make ourselves a crystal. Boom! Fantastic. All right. Let's get inside. Uh, for some reason, I have a sneaky feeling they might be able to break down doors in expert mode. So uh, I'm just taking a bit of a precaution right there. <laughs> right. Okay. Um... Oh, we used to pull a stone. Oh, I'm so stupid. Good lord. I am really stupid. I don't know why I used up all the stone, but oh well. Oh, hold on a sec. I just saw something. Yo-yo. Oh, these are the new things in 1.3. It's like an entire new class of weapons. Look at this. Yo-yos. Ah, not got great range, but I don't know, man. It could be useful. I'm going to keep it on us. I'm going to put a chair down as well so Brett can start moving in. Uh, 
I was not valid. Oh yeah, that's right. We need to have a custom background, don't we? Dang it! All right, guys. Uh, let's just have a look in here. Can we make anything? We can make an iron sword, but I think I might be able to skip straight up to a tungsten sword if and when I can. But do you know what? I think this will be a good place to end the episode because, uh, yeah, there's zombies outside. I don't really feel like taking them down. So, yeah, we're going to come back in the next episode, see what kind of things we can make with all the ores that we managed to get. And then we're going to go exploring in the world again. So... Yeah, I'm really excited for this series. I'm really excited for Terraria 1.3 in general, as I've said before. But, yeah, I'm really, really excited. So, yeah, I want to thank you guys for watching. I uh, hope you guys have enjoyed it. And uh, be sure to leave a like rating if you did enjoy it. I much appreciate it. And, of course, you can subscribe if you want to know when the future videos are out. But, yes, guys, that's going to wrap it up for this first episode. Thank you very much for watching. And I will see you guys in the next episode.